Well, they're DC's new dynamic duo of the airwaves, and they made their debut together this week on the new sports station in DC, 106.7 The Fan. How you doing, everybody? Welcome to this edition of Sports Talk. I'm Glenn Harrison. Thanks for joining us for another evening. If you listen to sports radio in this town, chances are you're already familiar with the on-air talents of our guest tonight, Chad Dukes and number 56, LeVar Arrington. And I haven't seen you on my show since you was a rookie, son. Been now you're an old veteran. Long. Now you're hardcore radio. It's been way too guess. long, Glenn. What's up, man? How you doing? Great. Good, good. Great. Good to see you, man. Good Back to see you. Looking you. lean. You know, I'm just trying to be like Chad yeah, when I get Ch older. Chad, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He used to look know. like you, didn't he, Chad? He was one of my role yeah, models. Yeah. He used to be a little portly. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me what's happening, man. You guys are together. How you guys going? Batman and Robin, what's up, man? Yeah, I'm Robin. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's Batman. Yeah. Chad, you, uh, are you the leadoff hitter in this group here? Uh, I'm happy to be here. <laughs> um, you know, I'm, I'm from Northern Virginia. I was born in Alexandria, mm -hmm. so uh, working at 106.7 has always been my dream. And the fact that they brought this man in that I watched on TV, mm -hmm. and then I get to sit next to him and tell him he's wrong about sports, mm -hmm. it's quite a thrill. I was reading in the paper where you guys are not going to pull any punches. No punches to be and held. And that's, uh, that's what fans are interested in. Mm -hmm. Telling it like it is. And, of course, LeVar, you played the game, been out there, uh, got all the scars to prove it, yeah, <laughs> and, yeah. you know, and the whole bit. So uh, that's what you got to do. I was telling one of my friends, Adrian Danley, uh, mm -hmm. you know, when he was doing uh, sports talk and stuff, hey, man, you've been there. Tell it like it is, you know. Mm -hmm. And that's what you have to do. Yeah, so. I mean it's it's been fun. This is this is our first week. We started on Monday, and you know I feel really good about it. Mm -hmm. And I think that we're giving the the listening audience exactly what it is that they're looking for, and that is towing the line between bashing but keeping it real. Mm -hmm. You know, what I mean, I, Chad's a uh, uh, from the hip shooter. You know, I'm a from the hip shooter. I'm I'm confident that the fact that we talk so so frank mm -hmm. about issues and situations is it's well needed it's something that the fans need the fans don't always want to hear fluff mm -hmm. so i think that's what we're giving we're giving the the listening audience something that they can really like think about mm -hmm. and not not feel like it's being fed to them right right you chad how have you felt um with lavar being a guy that you saw play pro football you know a lot of guys are Sort of, sort of awed with their guests, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, hopefully, you've gotten over that. Well, I mean, he's a pain in the butt, but <laughs> one of the, the greatest pleasures that has been getting to work with him is that uh, he had a reputation. I, I heard about him in the media. I heard mm -hmm. what the local media said about LeVar Arrington, and to be honest with you, I didn't know what to think. I, I remember when he picked that ball off against Carolina. That was one of the best moments of my life. <laughs> and then uh, just hearing his opinions and the way he formulates his thoughts, and I told him yesterday, I said, you're supposed to be a dumb jock. He came up with three or four different ways to think about one subject in one segment that I had never thought of, and I'm just impressed by him more and more each segment. So it's, it's been a real treat thus far. Well, here, here's the deal. That, I, that I've always liked being a talk show host for so many years, fairness. Mm -hmm. If you're fair, mm -hmm. that's all. Because, I mean, I'm, I'm with Ernest Biner and all that old age group that I was covering mm -hmm. in those days on radio. And they said, one thing about you, man, you're fair. That's mm -hmm. all people ask you to be. You're right. You can be cold and hard, but you, if you're fair. You're right. And see, one thing about you, you've been there. Mm -hmm. See, because I tell you right now, and I know I want to say, with all due respect to my viewers all these years, most of the people out there don't have a clue <laughs> what's going on. Mm. They don't have a clue. They don't have a clue what's going on politically, mm -hmm. uh, football-wise, or anything. So, but that's okay because they have the right to be armchair quarterbacks. Mm -hmm. But when you hear absurdity, you're right. going like, man, that person don't have a clue what they're talking about. Right. You know. So, and that's why I enjoy having this this platform with Chad because you have two different backgrounds. You know, you have. But, but we have strong, strong personalities and strong opinions, and I think that that, that nets that whole, mm -hmm. that whole array of different personalities right. that will be tuning in to listen to mm -hmm. us. You know, it's not always interesting to hear my perspective. You know, sometimes, a lot of times, they look at it like, oh, he thinks he knows it all because mm -hmm. he played that sport, or right. he's a professional. And then you have Chad, who is an avid fan, mm -hmm. And we're able to mix those those that two dichotomy. things together, yeah. mm -hmm. and and it it really it's really showing that it works, right. and it is about being fair, right? And, and having you know multiple perspectives right. on on things that are going on. All right, we talk about chemistry when we come back. We'll open up for your calls with Chad and Lavar. I'm Glenn Harris, 703-387-1020. First, see if you can solve tonight's sports talk stuff. We'll have an answer for you a little bit later on. I'm Glenn. I'll be right back. <laughs>
The allegations against me are reckless and false. As much as I'd like to answer everyone's questions, I'm going to respect the legal process, and I am confident that the truth will prevail. Thank you. Well, Roethlisberger seems to be taking on the legal challenge now. If he goes to trial, it's not likely it wouldn't happen until next year at the earliest so he can play football, that's for sure. We're back with LeVar Arrington and Chad Deuce from The Fan. I know that you've been chewing on this story, and what people want to get paid, don't they? I mean, you know, it was a year later that somebody came back and said he did something and also. What's your thoughts on this? I mean, he sounded like Bill Clinton. <laughs> don't be looking over there at him. <laughs> <laughs> he sounded like Bill Clinton yeah. when he was talking to the media. I know mm -hmm. that much. He did. He did. And he read the whole thing. Mm -hmm. And he's looking down at it while he's reading it. Right. You know, Glenn, when, when you... So what do you think? I just think when you get caught up in a situation like that, like, if you didn't do it, why are you, why are you like, reading from a pad okay. in front of the nation? Maybe he's following his lawyer's advice. Well, the truth is the truth. So if you have nothing to hide, you don't have to sit there and try to have mm -hmm. uh, a formal speech mm -hmm. prepared. You say, look, I did not do this, and, and it will come out that I didn't do it. Right. And you move on from it. Chad, your thoughts. The problem is, is like, what are these athletes supposed to do? They're literally going to have to start sealing themselves in a dungeon because as soon as someone's short on cash, you look at LeVar and say, okay, we had a cup of coffee six years ago. I need some ATM cash real quick. I'm going to file a civil suit. It's not, there's not even any criminal charges being filed here. Mm -hmm. And this man, no one will ever look at Ben Roethlisberger the same way ever again. Nobody looks at Kobe Bryant the same way they used to. So his reputation is besmirched. LeVar had a great idea. He said there should be some repercussions. If you charge somebody with a crime like this and it's proven to be untrue, there should be punishments for the person that actually yeah, charged the crime. I love that That's idea. fair. Right. Oh, no, that's, that's fair. Good point. You, you go after somebody for their money and you say they sexually assaulted you or they raped you or anything, that's fine. If it really happened, that's fine. And you have every right to, to mm -hmm. stand up for yourself and get, you know, right. obviously justice served on your, your behalf. Right. But if it comes out that you didn't, mm -hmm. I even say that with the whole child support thing. If it comes out that that's not that person's child and, and you've unlawfully or you've wrongfully accused this individual, look, it shouldn't be they both walk out of the courtroom mm -hmm. and, oh, I was wrong. Right. But yeah. you go on with your life. Right. But this person's life has been destroyed. I mean, dramatically mm -hmm. and drastically altered. They should have to do time. Like, they should have, whatever it was that they were going to have to do, the mm -hmm. time that the individual that was accused mm -hmm. was going to have to do, mm -hmm. that is exonerated from the charge, the person that accused them should have to do that charge. And you right. think twice about it. Andre, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hey, how y'all doing up here? Uh, all right. Man, you know, I kept hearing this from the radio today and stuff like that, man. Let me tell you something, man. When you're on the road, Ain't no need you getting married. You know, wait till you retire and get married because, you know, you're always on the road and things can happen and you always got people out there for money. So, you know, when you're on the road, just wait till you get married, you know, then you wouldn't have to worry about that. And Big LeVon, you know, I do have my big Drake lead. I might have to get you out there to bang with some of these big guys like Craig Shelton and all that, man, because I know you're a big banger down low, you know, but we might have to put you down as that strong forward, well, not the small one. Well, <laughs> Andre, I don't know if, if LeVar knows who Craig Shelton is, one of the great basketball yeah, players from this town. Uh -huh. But anyway, Craig is old now, and that's my buddy. But, <laughs> but I don't know, LeVar's getting a little older now. Too, so old. just, my knees are old. That's what Glenn. I'm talking about. Thanks, Andre. <laughs> my knees are old. Yeah, appreciate the call. <laughs> I, you know, and, and it's with an R, not an N. But anyways, <laughs> yeah, you know. But anyways, um, Ben's not even married. You know, I just think in, in this in this situation here, I think that when you have an individual accusing you of what Ben Roethlisberger has been accused of, the the interesting thing about this is it's it's about interpretation. Mm -hmm. It's about interpretation. Right. So. Um, in these cases, I mean, like I said, I don't think he 